and the ex-player, like, like myself, who are struggling with injuries and that kind of thing. Now, it goes back mine nearly 10 years. Right? I couldn't walk, I had to finish work and that kind of thing. And they came along, just formed about then, they came along and straight away paid £8,500 for me need to be done. <laughs> you know, since then they've done so many things for me. Central eating, double glazing, just goes on forever. They never put money in your back pocket, they look after you. Any bills, I would send me to Rodney Street, I, I was struggling with my teeth, that kind of thing. It was out of this world. They've done so much for me, I just can't believe it. But every other player, doesn't matter how many games you play for Everton, right, we look after you, and they have done for everybody. You know, it's as simple as that. They always hold full houses every time we go. You know, like tonight, you know, a thousand, two thousand, that kind of thing. Everything builds up. Like they have a, they have a, a game of a friendly before. It's Everton. And part of that goes to Everton. And we have dues all the time. And that's it. And they look after them. There's so many things. You know, like Brian LeBone. Yeah, right. I mean, it's a fantastic, you know, my best friend. And they, they paid for that funeral, did yeah, a lot, okay. that kind of thing. You know, Roy Vernon, a few years ago, his wife was struggling. They put um, double glazing, I believe, for him. They look after everybody, doesn't matter who it is. Any injuries of any kind, they look after you. The thing is, I'm telling you these things. The thing is, they won't tell you what they've done, but I get to know things. Okay. And that's what happens all the time with these people. Marvellous. The ex player, don't forget. Even before my time, they were on ten pounds. You know, I started in thirty pounds. You know, I've won all championship medals, cup final medals. You know, that kind of thing. And don't get me wrong, there's fabulous wages in every way, thirty pounds. Like the dockers on twelve. But hey, as time goes on, you can't, you can't manage. And they've done it for us. Wonderful, wonderful organisation. Tell us a bit about the, your playing days. <laughs> I was with Evan from 1962. I was signed as a goalkeeper from uh, <coughs> from Blackpool for a world record, 32,000. No, no, sorry, 27,500, a world record, and he said it will never, ever, ever be broken. And I don't believe it. And I remember I got the I got the train from Blackpool to Preston, and got the Preston train to Liverpool, and got the 60 to County Road, right? And a fella who was just signed for Arsenal got a, a, a private jet. Things are different and all that. Different life, different thinking. You know, the thing is, when I was on £30 a week, my first year, the Dockers on 12. It was good. Yeah. I got married and at a clubhouse, 30 shillings a week. Yeah. I paid the club. You know, things are fabulous. You know, then it was. As things goes on, you know, in medical fees, you can't pay for them. Now, the players that's involved with the uh, Football Association, not just players, anybody employed in, in Everton and all that, you can go to the ski and all that. And they all looked after. It wasn't my day, nothing happened like that. You know, but I've no regrets. I'm a scouser for your life, Barnsley. <laughs> How much do you think you'd be there? At your peak. Well, obviously, I can't exact that. I was aware. Do you think you're better than you would be better? Than I don't know about that. You know, this and that. But uh, times have changed and all that. The thing is, I'd be a multi-millionaire. Would I play again? I don't. I think I'd have one season. Retire. <laughs>